This is Teacher Mark. Our lesson for today is all about similarities on right angle. So similarities in right angle, Pythagorean theorem, 45-45-90 triangle theorem, 30-60-90 triangle theorem, and determining if the triangle is right, acute, or obtuse. There are lots more of theorem here, but I just picked this because this I think this is the more easiest way to know if the two triangle or the two or more triangles are or has a right angle. So Pythagorean theorem is in right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of the two the legs. So these are the original formula for Pythagorean theorem. So this is the legs, the two legs, and the hypotenuse. So find the measure of x in this part. So how do we uh, solve this? So first is you need to know first or we must to know the formula in getting the Pythagorean theorem. So this is c is equal, equals to a squared plus b squared. Okay, next, we need to change, since the C is the hypotenuse, which is X, we change that, we substitute, and then A could be 8 squared plus B will become 9 squared. And then, 8 squared will become 64 plus 81. And then, 64 plus 81 is 145. So this is uh, x is x squared. Then after you add it, you must to equate that. Extract x is equals to square root of one forty five. So uh, we must know first if there is a uh, extraction for it. So I think there is no. So therefore, that is square root of one forty five. Okay. Next. Or rather, square root of 145 centimeter. Next. And find the measurement of y. We need to use the Pythagorean theorem, which is c is equals to a squared plus b squared. We all know that it will become 10. That's a hypotenuse. And then the a, uh, just y. And then 8 squared. Then after that, 100 y squared will become 64 and then transpose 64 100 minus 64 and y squared that will become 36 and then y squared so uh, extract square root square uh, square root both part and it will become positive negative 6 or we just get first the 6 or the positive 6 therefore our uh, y there is 6 or 6 units Next. So this, what is 45-45-90 triangle theorem? In 45-45-90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always square root of 2 times as long leg. So this is the instruction, uh, this is the figure for 45-45-90 triangle. So as you may see, it is given x, x, and uh, x square root of 2 and x. Uh, it measures 45, 45, an acute angle, and then a 90 degrees. So, how do we do So, first, find the measurement of x and y. So, as you may see, uh, the, the hypotenuse if, is 5, but the formula for this is x square root of 2. We must to find the x so that you may get the x and y. So, how do we do that? Divide by both square root of 2, cancel, cancel, and x is equals to 5 square root of 2, which is, this is, uh, this is, it have, or it has a radicals in its denominator, so we must to rationalize. So, that will become 5 square root of 2 and square root of 4, simplify 5 square root of 2 and Therefore, this is the x. Since 
this is a 45, 45 degree 90, they are equivalent. Therefore, if x is 5 square root of 2 over 2 units, therefore the y is also 5 square root of 2 over 2 units. Okay? And the measurement of x and y. So since it, so since 8 is, uh, uh, this part is 8, we all know this is 45 degrees, so therefore y is also 8. So we have, sir, how do we get the x? How do we get the x? So we must to add only. It says that x is square root of 2, therefore we just add 8 square root of 2. Therefore this is x. 8 square root of 2 units. Okay? Next. In 30, 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem, in 30, 60 triangle, the hypotenuse is twice as long as the shorter leg and the longer leg is square root of 2. So, this is the diagram or the chart for 30, 60. So, in this part, okay, the longer leg is square root of 3. Okay, the shorter leg is x and 2x. So, how do we know if it is 30, 60, 90 degrees? So, if it has a 60 degrees or 30 degrees, and syempre, kapag may 90 degrees po siya. So, we get this. Find the measurement of x and y using this ano, given. So, as we may see that uh, x will become uh, the larger is x square root of 3. Okay. Hence, the uh, y will become the x square root of 3, and then this part is will become its x. So, therefore, we need to know that we need to change this x into 8. Therefore, this is the measurement of y, 8 square root of 3. And then, we uh, to get the x, it says that 2 times x, so therefore, we just change x by 8. So, therefore, that is 16 units. So, that will become 16 units. Okay? So, that is 30, 60, 90 degrees house work. So, next, find measurement of x and y. So again, we need to change, uh, we need to get the larger, uh, the longer and the shorter leg. So, but the given is, it's hypotenuse. So, 3 square root of 3. So, therefore, we must to pay that to x. So, okay, to find x, 2, cancel, cancel. Therefore, the x is 3 square root of 3 over 2. And then, to get that 1 is you need to change, since the y is equals to x square root of 3, we need to change this y, uh, x, into that x. So, it will become 3 square root of 3 over 2, then multiply by square root of 3. So, how do we uh, multiply it? 3 times 1 equals 3, and square root of 9 over 2. Square root of 9 is 3. So, therefore, we must multiply 3 times 3 is equals to 9 over 2. So, therefore, y is equals to 9 over 2. Okay? So, determining if the triangle is acute, right, or obtuse. So, using the Pythagorean, we can tell if the given sides are right triangle. So, how do we do that? 6, 8, 10. For example, there are given 6, 8, 10 is equals to 100. And then, you must do, you must do squared 6 and 8. Then, it will change to 36 plus 64. Therefore, 100 is equal to 100, for that is a right triangle. 8, 14, 17, 289 is the 17 squared. Ito po yun, yung 17 squared. And then yung 8 squared po is 64. And then yung 14 squared is 196. If you add it, that will uh, it will come up with 260 and then 289. So if it is, uh, no, if the C squared is less uh, greater than 2, a squared plus B squared. Therefore, that is obtuse triangle. The next part is, again, you need to get first the highest number. So, highest number is 625, so it will present a C. And then the two part is the A and B. 
So that will become A and that will become B. Then you, after you add it, tell the comparison. So 625, which is the C, and then this is the A plus B. Therefore, uh, C is less than to 676, but that, therefore, that is acute. So, in determining if the triangle is acute or right, so first is, we need to know more about the highest number. So, 41 is the C, and then, we change first 9 squared plus 40 squared. So, do we get that? So, this will become 81 plus 40 squared, 40 squared. So, that means 0, 1, 6. So, 1, 6. And 41. 1, 41, 4. And that's 16. So, that will become 1, 6, 81. So, that will become 1, 6, 81. So, if you add it, 1, 6, 81 also. So, if it is equal, therefore, that is right angle. Next, how about this one, 6, 7, 8? So, the largest is 8, so that is 8 squared, and then 6 squared plus 7 squared. That is 36 plus 49, and then this is 64. If we add this one, it will become 85, 64. Therefore, uh, this number, the 8 plus B, is greater than 264. Therefore, that is a acute angle. Or oh, acute, sorry, acute triangle. Not angle, sorry. Acute triangle. Okay? If it is greater than, therefore, that is obvious. So, that's how we determine if the triangle is acute or right or obvious triangle. For that, thank you. And uh, uh, I think you learn some for teacher mark.